Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Roshan, or I have a Camaro, and today I'm going to be talking about the hat washer by Gritguard, um, as well as it's kind of like a how to how to wash your buffer pads uh, tutorial. Um, so first off, this this uh, this bucket is like I think the it listed at $120 or something like that, and it's insane. It is it is a lot of money. So. The reason you know my reviews are real is because I will tell you something like this. If you have other places where you can use over a hundred dollars and you feel like it's more necessary, then I would recommend that over purchasing one of these. Uh, this will definitely make your your uh, cleaning your buffer pads so much easier, a hundred times easier. But another thing is if you only do your car or your family's cars, it may not be worth it. And actually, I would say it's probably not worth it to get one of these. $100 can go to a whole bunch of detailing products rather than uh, essentially a glorified bucket with a couple of pumps. Um, but if you're still with me and you still want to see this and you still want to see how to do it and uh, how to use it and what it looks like and everything, and I'm going to take it apart step by step, um, then stay, st stick, stay tuned. So... This is the the crux, the main part of this thing, and as you can see, there's so much polishing dust in the inside of this thing. It's kind of gross. So I'm gonna wash this out, actually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely wash this out. But uh, as you can see, there's this little hole right here, and there is this thing. Can you guys see that? It looks like a little spring at the bottom of this, and there's a hole right here. What's happening is as you push down on this, water shoots out. Um, whatever solution is in here actually shoots out and uh, that coupled with the buffer spinning the pad across the grip card on the top of this thing is what causes the, the pad cleaning system to work so when I do this I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this up with uh, quite a bit of water and I'm gonna put in probably around five ounces of Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner I'll, I'll do that just because uh, I, I like that extra cleaning power of the uh, all-purpose cleaner in the solution. And not only that, but I'm going to use an all-purpose cleaner on the pad itself and kind of work it in. You'll see me do that, and um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so while this is filling up, I'm going to show you a couple of things about the Grit Card Pad Washer. The first is, of course, this which my OCD wouldn't allow me to keep dirty. I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, of course it's gonna get dirty again. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't bother me. And uh, so as I said earlier, that's essentially just a pump. Uh, all it does is allows you to pump up water. And um, see, you see water coming out of here. And uh, this grit guard works in tandem with the pump. Uh, you put the grit guard on top of these little four buoy things that pump things, and you put this little guy, uh, you see this, on top of there. And when you have them all together, it'll be it'll be squirting water out like that. Uh, so let me put in a little bit more water, and I'll be back with some all-purpose cleaner in here. All right, so you can see what I'm going to be using is all-purpose cleaner plus from Meguiar's. I use five ounces of this, and it's uh, it's pretty cheap, so I'm not too worried about, you know, really measuring it out. I, I'm just going by. That felt like five ounces. I have no idea if it was or not, but it felt like five ounces. Um, so that's what I do for the cleaning solution. It doesn't have to be scientific, as I just showed you. And then the uh, the grit guard will go on top, and then on top of this. We'll go this little nifty seal, and uh, you can see this 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 latch right here opens and uh, locks and closes. And um, all right, let's get to showing you the pad and cleaning it out. All right, guys, this right here is a clean orange LC 5.5 Lake Country 5.5 inch pad, and this is a dirty pad. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get this. To this kind of level and uh, also this pad hasn't 
has sat for about a month. So you can see just how like dirty and the polish and how like dry the polish is into the pad. It actually feels a lot rougher than this this pad does. Um, anyhow, so let me go ahead and tell you how I use this. I have my Griot's Garage polisher right here, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and center it. All right, and um, what the next the next step I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna use Adam's all-purpose cleaner on a foam setting. Uh, Adam's all-purpose cleaner is, is a really really top-notch all-purpose cleaner in my opinion, um, but it, it is really expensive considering that you can't dilute it compared to other all-purpose cleaners. Anyhow, I, I definitely still use it for this task because I find it works really really well. Um, so I just shoot like about four or five sprays and what I'm going to do with this foam is just work it in here you know try to just work that that uh, all-purpose cleaner in there and uh, because I want to do this in one shot let me go ahead and shoot a couple extra safety sprays there we go All right, um, now the speed I'm gonna use it on is four, and uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but trust me, it's on four, and the reason I have it on four is because I feel like that cleans, that like the circular motion will clean it, and also four is not fast enough that the pad will degrade, or degrade too quickly, or degrade over time more than it would otherwise. Uh, on, on speed six, I've actually started cutting into the pad, the grit guards, and the spinning will actually start cutting into the pad. So I think four is a good level of clean between, um, you know, speed and also not degrading the pad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this for a little bit, and then at the end I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to dry it for about 30 seconds, running it without any load. So, with that said, let me go ahead and do this. And I'm going to be doing this throughout the uh, throughout the cleaning. me moving it around because I want to get all aspects of the pad. Anyways, now I'm going to dry it, so all I'm going to do is lift it, and I'm actually going to move it up to speed 5, and, uh, and allow it dry for about 30 seconds, and uh, that'll be because of the centrifugal force is pushing the water out. is actually pretty dry and check this out as you can see this pad which was filled with polish and uh, and I I'm telling you man this pad is just pretty dang dry it's a little damp and I'll just probably let it sit for a day and that'll let it air dry for a day but uh, as you can see I could go back and use this pad on a car I feel like uh, you can see uh, these two look look identical the clean one and, and the now clean one. Uh, so that's my video. Uh, that's my like uh, little review of the Griot's Garage pad washer as well as the, uh, the tutorial on how I use it. I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please push the like button. And if you like these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel, uh, all about detailing. And uh, the link is in the description below. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.